Hi guys, what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna show you how to use our Destiny website. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to our Wayne Hills homepage, um, Wayne Hills Library homepage, and then you're going to want to go to Destiny. Um, so Destiny is what you used when you were in elementary school. So right here you can see the first thing on our homepage, it says to access our catalog of books, go here. So click on that. Once you are here, you'll be able to go to our catalog. Buttons up here, you click on catalog. And now you're going to do your searches. Now, a couple of things. One, when you search, especially if you're doing a research paper on a specific author, type in the author, Herman Melville, and put them in quotes. That way we're looking up their full name. Also, don't click on author, because if I click on author, I'll do it just to show you, it's going to show me only things written by Herman Melville. Um, however, if I look up Herman Melville and I, and I click on keyword, it's gonna show me everything we have, not just by him, but about him. And this is what you're looking for if you're doing your research papers. So here you go, here's a bunch of eBooks on Herman Melville. There's another one, as well as a bunch of books about him. When you come over here, check and see if it's available. If it says zero of one available, it means it's checked out. And if you click on it, it'll tell you the due date. I took a bunch of books out just now for Mrs. Kiernan for her research papers, so a lot of them are going to say due 530. That means they're on the card already. You don't have to go searching for them in the library. We already have them on the card. If it doesn't say that, like for instance this one, it says one of two available, just look at the call number and you can come into the library and go find it. Everything um, is listed numerically around the outside of the library for nonfiction. If it's an ebook, you should be able to just click on it and let's see, that'll give you the information. Let's go back to where we were, review, copies. All right, so we don't wanna just click on it. You want, oh, I know what I have to do. Click on search results, sorry. Here it is. So you're gonna click on the word open. That makes more sense. So click on open and it will literally open the book for you. And then you'll be able to go through and read it. So this is the table of contents. You can go through it. You can click on whatever you're looking for, whatever book you're reading um, or whatever book you're writing about. So in this case, um, Herman Melville, let's look up everything here, Moby Dick. I'll click on Moby Dick and it'll take me to the information on that from the book. Um, and again, this is an ebook, so it's just an online form of a regular hard copy book. Once you're in here, if you're doing an ebook, you can actually cite it by clicking on citation. It'll give you the citation in MLA format. You can also click on print it if you wanna print it. I suggest always clicking on download or save to drive, but you may not be signed in. So download it first, then upload it to your Google Drive. That way you don't lose it. Okay, um, so pretty simplistic. Again, let's go back. You go to library search. You can search for whatever you're looking for. Um, Charlotte Bronte. And when I click on keyword, it'll give me everything there. Now, say you just want to get ebooks because you're running late on time, low on time, and you're not at school right now. You can change the material type to electronic book instead of reg Or if you want a hard copy book, you can click on book and it'll only give you the hard copies of books that are in the library. So if I click on ebook and keyword, I search, these are all ebooks about Charlotte Bronte. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, you can always come find me in the library. I am happy to help.